Hi, welcome to Page Family Homestead. I'm Andy. That's Peggy behind the camera. Those are just hands. <laughs> anyway, today we are fermenting real lemons, mandarin oranges, and limey limes. Limey limes. Yeah. But so, it's not just fermenting, it's actually preserving, preserving them by right. using lacto fermentation. Right, exactly, yes. And and we've never done it before? No, we've never done this before, but, but what we've been watching and researching on this is that like when you go to make a chicken and this is your lemons are fermented, after 30 days you can use them, right? And after 30 days you can put them in the fridge. But then you just take out, you just cut up a little bit and put it into your your chicken or take a whole thing, shove it right in the chicken. But, but I mean, uh, we had this is actually a is viewer's beautiful. request, yes, um, by the name a, a subscriber, uh, by the name of Heidi Joe. Um, Hi, I, Joe. <laughs> Heidi Joe, I hope you try fermented lemons, they have been the favorite for us so far. We love chicken piccata, and it's so convenient to have the lemons on hand at all times. Now, we're doing it the traditional way. Heidi Jo does not. She says, I chop mine small instead of the more common way of quartering them. And then I just grab a spoonful whenever. A spoonful added to a stick to the rib soup or meal makes it feel much less heavy of a meal. Great for Cut summertime. Through the grease, yeah. Yeah, it, it would. would. Yeah, it would. It really grease would. So, thank you, Heidi Jo. This thank video you, is for you. I Come on in, everybody, and we'll get Andy to work. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to nip the ends off it so it's open like that. Don't throw these away because these you can also use these in what is it your broth you peg instead of a they were saying you yeah can, but I would be more probably inclined to put it into my spray bottle with vinegar because it makes an awesome cleaner yeah yeah okay so here on the lemon what we're gonna do first of all <laughs> we're gonna take two tablespoons of salt what kind of course. Pickling salt. Pickling salt, obviously. Anything yeah. without iodine in it? It's yeah. not being iodized? Now this is the one jar we're going to use for that. Iodine. So, <laughs> in this one here, I think we're going to put three sticks of cinnamon. Cinnamon sticks. And they suggest you put that at the bottom. We've never done this before, but I've seen them. We've seen them, and, and it makes perfectly good sense. Like. Like you want to do um, some type of a stir fry, you could use the oranges or the limes, put them in there. And uh, where do I, oh that goes in there. So I think we can put a little bit of allspice in there too, eh? Uh, what about a quarter cup? No, I mean a quarter Jeez. tablespoon. No, a quarter of a teaspoon. I'm just going to go like this. Just, okay, boom, wait, boom, wait. Boom, boom, okay, boom. okay, okay, okay. That's good. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So. What we do here... Wasn't there one more thing you were going to put in? Oh no, that was for no. the oranges. Shut no, up, that's, that's for the, <laughs> yes. So what we do is we cut this almost all the way through. Not all the way through. And then it would quarter it again, like this. All the fruit so has we, been so washed. It's, it, it's in like this. So you cut it like this. Like a flower, right? Yeah. Wake up, little rosebud! You don't have to worry about the seeds. You can leave the seeds in. Now the salt... It's what makes this ferment, and it also makes a hostile environment for mold. For any bad bacteria. Any, any bad bacteria. So two Ooh. tablespoons into one. One, I mean, sorry, put it only put one. So saith the Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> and then we just drop that in. It won't go in. Come on. There. And what I'll do? Oops. Oops. <laughs> Everything was sterilized. <laughs> Still is. No, no. <laughs> I just got to turn this over. And then you pack, pack it down in, like that. And then what we do is we get another one and nip off the ends. 
Now they say once it's 30 days on the counter. No, five days on the counter. Right. And you check to see if the liquids have come out from the or, or from the fruit from the salt yeah. to cover. But well, they say to wait. Yes, and five then, days. Be, yes, I, because you can add some lemon juice into it, but you shouldn't have to because once you, once we show you what to do here, the salt. Let's have a look at that so they can see. The salt's all in there like that. Yeah. Oh, and stack oh, them there. into the other that's opened a little bit so that you can get more in yeah. there. Well, maybe I better use uh, something smaller. Another one here. Remember, don't throw these away. No, I love that cleaner. Yeah, I'll put the video for making that cleaner up here in the yep. eye card somewhere over there. Again, open it up like that. One teaspoon of tablespoon or whatever it's called. Tablespoon. Tablespoon. There's a difference between the two. Salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that one fell. I'll just flip that over. Put it back into there. Excite it again. And then we're going to pack them down inside here. And that's going to release the juices. A good yes. idea too. Um, I haven't seen anyone on the videos do it, but why wouldn't you do this with it, baby? Oh yeah, yeah, I forgot. Release the juices, yeah, break just... them up a little bit. It'll help it with the salt. You pull. can already see it coming out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and if they break, don't worry about it. If your little petals of your four cuts, don't don't worry about it. It's nope. still going to work. Yep, it all works. Like Heidi Jo said, she cuts hers up into little bits. You can do that, yeah. Yeah. Which kind of makes sense, really. Hey? Try the big pounder now. You should be able to really squish them down. Because yep. we should be able to get all those lemons into that jar. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you can see the juice coming out now. There you go. And the, rind, the meat of the, the pulp of the the f fruit um, a lot of people discard it but they say don't I wouldn't um, you can no. still cut it up and use it in your foods it's when people do this it's the rind that they're coveting it's it makes it soft it makes it more easy to chew and digest and the the aromas they they claim after a month it'll just blow you away the oh, flavors yeah. and look at that juice already yeah and yeah. what was it, the, the meat on it, though? It's still good, too. Oh, yeah, the meat's still good, but, I mean, if you want to use it, you just take them out, rinse them under the water. Oh, you have to them rinse. Yeah. Try cut to rinse up. the salt off your fruit when yeah. you're ready to use it. But they say five days to give it the amount time for the juice and the salt to work. Um, for everything to work. To get everything covered. Yeah. And if you don't have the fruit fully covered after five days to add, some pure lemon juice to do it uh, and then leave them on the counter it yep. doesn't even matter if it's on a shelf in the in the, in the room room's light it needs to be room temperature and out of direct sunlight, sunlight yeah you don't put in the sun <clears throat> after the month you put it in the fridge and they say it can last up to a year yeah. And that it does get softer as time goes. So right. I can't see leaving it a year. You know what I'm like. Because, well, you'd use it for one thing. And it's, we will. It's not just a, oh, look at that. It's nice. <laughs> and it's something you can, but it is nice. Wow, it's something so you can yellow. utilize in your savory dishes as like your meat dishes as yeah. well as your desserts. Not only that, these things are great for if you're on Halloween. Oh, just put them up. <laughs> don't play with my cleaner. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. That ever smell like lemon. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why do you think that might be? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you know well, the yeah, jars. Know can't see what you're doing because you got the jar right in front of everybody. It's like you're hiding. Uh, what pay you're attention. Do you think he's going to get all the lemons in? Uh, we'll get quite a few in. You'll anyway. get them all. There you go. Or you wouldn't have done it right. 
<laughs> hey, we're out of glass pucks, everybody. I need to order more. But in a pinch, and you don't have something you normally would use, because when our stuff is in the fridge, I still keep the puck on them to keep the food submerged. So today will be brought to you by little j half jelly jars, the tester jars. That's our weight. Look at the juices. Isn't Already. that nice? Wow. Rolling them does help. Yep. It does. So we're going to break away. I'm going to put you on the tripod here and watch Andy work to some music. Ba, ba, ba. Did you roll it? Yes, I did. Ooh. Did you uh -oh. see it roll? I thought you cut it right through. No. I've cut a lot of them through. <laughs> now, I know people are going to be like, oh my God, that's a lot of salt. Oh my God, yes it is. It is a lot of salt. But needed for the it's needed for, for the lacto fermentation right. process and you rinse it off. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Don't it all worry. rinses off. And Hello. Oh, by the way, Stop our, the mold process. Our there. citrus here is like a dollar a piece. So we happen to be going into where we used to live where we picked up. We went specifically after our appointments, ran to the grocery stores there mm. where it's what, 50 cents 50 each? 50 cents each. Yeah. Which so is still high. I mean, there's, I imagine there's other places you can go. But every time we buy a bag of lemons, we never use them, well, other than dehydrating, we don't use them and up they and go bad. they go hard. So this is going to be another way, if I'm not dehydrating, that we can have fresh lemon on hand for yep. cooking and baking. I can't wait to have it. I can't wait to try. I know how much better the foods are that we've fermented And so we're going far. to be showing it too as well. Oh, yeah. After 30 days, we're going to pull some out and, and try it. Cook with it. Well, cook with it, you know? Yeah. Like you got a Peking duck. <laughs> Just saying. Quite a few or, people keep, ooh, pe keep picking Enhancing up. your lemon meringue pie. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, that's just that. got a better reaction than peaking you know, there's, duck. There's all kinds of th recipes. Like, I mean, if you wanted to do like a, a stir fry, yeah, you could use the lime, the lemon, the lime, or the orange, right? Which and we have different great. flavors going into each yeah. group. Okay, we're talking too much. All right, she is. She Look at the mess. <laughs> So he's decided against using... Yeah, we don't need the jar because no. th this is keeping under pretty good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a lid on it for right now. <laughs> and all these is going to be burped as well. I'm just going to put that on tight. We'll mix up the... get that salt all the way through. It'll help release more juices from the lemons. Oh yeah. Now and that those sticks underneath the... All the, the cinnamon uh, and yeah. Um, I'm gonna That's put beautiful. them up. Look at that. I know. I'm gonna keep them on top of the spice cabinet. That's a good dark spot, yeah. Well, it's not dark. It doesn't well, need to be. It just needs to be out of direct sunlight. But I'm gonna put a bowl under it because ferments will do that. They'll bubble, and uh, we can burp it there. once in a while. Yep. It was also yeah. suggested to leave them for half a day upside down and then the next half upside yeah. so right. That's, this is the way we watch this. You put it on tight, then there. Leave it for the day and then the next day, come over and flip it. That way everything's submerged yeah. under the water. Under and we the, do have five days to make sure that it's 100% submerged, everything. Right. Because I right. see some air up there when you have it upside down. And if after the five days, squishing it down doesn't produce more juices, we will add some. But I don't think we're going to be adding. I don't think we need to add it because everything's still up at Is the top. Is something still sticking up there? There's a few little things, but I've, I mean, right now, everything's under the water, under the lemon, the juice. Sorry. Pure lemon juice. Yeah. I think you're good. Yeah. So there's one project. So there's one, one project, Ken. Done. Done. Like we'll watch it for five days to make sure it stays good. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this one upside down. Where do you want it? We're gonna, I, I'm <clears> gonna, <throat> I gotta okay. move some stuff. Just put it on the counter for now. So I'll put her here. Okay, we're gonna be going into the mandarin orange. The mandarin orange. 
Now it's the same process. Do you want the little nips in here? Pick? Yep, I do. Okay. Can you imagine that cleaner? It's going to be lemony be nice. and orange and limes. Yep. Always save your citrus peels, guys. Doesn't have to just be the ends. Same Any thing peel. here, guys. Don't go all the way through. You can, but I mean, it's just okay. Now, in the bottom of this, what would we like to add? Two tablespoons. The anus? No. Star? Oh, wait, yes. Yes. Okay, we're going to put an anus star. Anus. And, well, okay. you, you all don't want to put no anus in there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> smells like licorice. <laughs> sure looks like <laughs> two of them in that size two? one for a quart two of them for the 1.9 okay. liter yeah <laughs> so one tablespoon again one tablespoon of salt oh you should put one in the bottom and in the bottom or two uh, I'm one for two. the quart size and two for the yeah. yeah and then same thing here same process all the way through all the way through it sugar oh. salt were you going to... No, there's no sugar. Sorry. Are you putting some uh, allspice in there too? Is it allspice you wanted in there? Yeah, and a cinnamon. Okay, two, and a cinnamon. Okay. Two cinnamon sticks. Sure. Yeah. Why not? Especially the oranges. Oh. Yeah, that'll be beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> you got big fingers. It's not that big a hole. <laughs> okay, and then you want some allspice in there? Yeah. About a quarter? Yeah. Let's see what he thinks is a quarter. That's good, eh? Yeah, it should be okay. All right, so now, oh, it's thanky. Correct. One done. Oh, it fell. Again, I'm going to try to get it over. There, keep and it put up. put the other one inside there again. I don't know if you can see that. But this is the other alternative instead of a puck. You could put this with a little bit of water in it, of the juice, stick it there. Yeah, not water, the no, juice. No, I know, yeah, the yeah. juice. And then it would weigh them down. It down. But and we may come to that. We may need to. But for now, we don't. Right no. now, we're doing good. So again, get back here. <laughs> again, you cut them, the nips off. And that'll help the salts go up and through them. Go three quarters. Three quarters through. Just open it up a bit. Put your salt in it. Already looks so good, don't they? Yeah. Heidi Joe, this was an excellent, excellent suggestion. Yep. I love it when the subscribers tell us ideas or yeah. suggest something. Subscriber for Appreciation Day. <laughs> they give us a good idea, we'll put it on. That's for sure. There's been a lot of good ideas. Now this one, like I said, after she suggested it, we started looking and I'm like, oh my God, I've seen that. Well, yeah. We should do it. <laughs> and you see it and, and there's certain restaurants you go, you'll see these on display just fermenting. And oh they, yeah, they they're using that. the good stuff. Oh yeah. I can't wait to use it for both desserts and savory dishes. Yeah. I can't. Look at that. And again, you get the probiotic out of it. The same same uh, medical, what do you call it, things that are in there that we need. We all need. The nutrients are just amazing with your foods fermented. Now I've had it brought to my attention that we should not be eating all our vegetables fermented. <clears throat> that was uh, all astrology G over there. Um, she suggested I look into that. So I did. And she's right. We can't have just fermented vegetables. But we can have up to, they suggest one to three servings. Yeah. So we'll do that in snacking. You know, like you're watching TV, you want something for snack. What a healthy snack. Yeah. You know, instead of a peanut butter and jam sandwich. Is there a healthy snack too? And I love them. It's his weakness. <laughs> oh. My kingdom for a good peanut butter and jam sandwich. Actually, I got a video on it. <laughs> oh, are you them. endorsing that little shirt? I am. Okay. <laughs> but what a the beautiful sandwich up it here. is. People just adored it. <laughs> oh, God. It was peanut butter jelly. Oh. It was good. <laughs> Canadian way. <laughs>
juice in that. Yeah. Not as much as the lemons. No. That's amazing because usually the oranges are Juicier, pretty... Juicier, you would think. Pretty good. Now this is a good... Ex I'm kind of glad that this happened. We haven't got the fruit fully submerged. Not yet. So, this is why they say keep an eye on it the first yeah. five days. The salt is going to draw the juices right out of all those mandarin oranges. And I mean seriously draw them out. So oh, yeah. they're good for five days to keep an eye. And if at five days you have not got them fully submerged, don't forget, it's a hostile environment for all the bad bacteria because of the amount of salt in there. Right. So if after five days it is not fully submerged, we will juice up some more mandarin oranges and put the juice in until it is. Yeah. But I think we're going to be okay. I don't think we're going to have a problem with that. I don't think so. Look what, how much juice is already coming yeah. up there I'm now. I'm just going like this. I, can you guys see the level? of the? Where's the juice line? Can you point at it with your... Right here. Let's see here. Get this down. There. So, yeah, I don't think we're going to have a problem, but I would use a jar if you can. Yep. If it's possible. We'll put a jar there like that, but it's not going to keep it dead. Well, it will. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. Now, you, normally you would put the juice of whatever fruit inside that jar as well, but right now we don't. It's cross threaded on. There you go. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Ow. Some disease. Probably we're going to find that we can take that jar out in time, too. Yeah, we will. Yeah, because it's already Definitely. at that line of the bottom of the jar. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And that will also, yes. by doing this, it'll shake everything up. All the up. flavors are going to marry. Look, Look at, at it. The air's coming out. And it's it's going gonna, it's gonna to fill up more and more and more. So should I put this one upside down as well? Yep. Okay. And we'll be right back with right back. the limes. Yeah. Okay, so now we're on to the limes. Now basically it's the same thing. I'm going to put one tablespoon of salt in the bottom. But this one here. This one he's using just a quart, guys. Yes. And mm. a red Thai pepper. Three of them in there. And they're supposedly hot. And they're hot, yes. Let's so see. we're going to go in there. One through here. Oh, yeah. Same way as we did the oranges and the lemons. Listen to Suki. Yeah. Suki? Because we're talking to the camera. Oh, we're not and paying not attention her. to you. <laughs> My little girl. It's just easier this way. Put her beside her daddy. Yes. <laughs> My baby girl. Now, <clears throat> the limes, those of you that follow, there's, I can do bell peppers, but anything else, I'm dying. Literally blisters. So, these are going to be for Andy's pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't sound right, Peg. <laughs> for barbecue sauce and stuff like that. Like, if I want to do a, a marinade, I could use this, the, the limes for it, which is great. The man thing. You gotta understand. <laughs> I wish I could because I love the smells. Oh, I know. And you notice we left the peppers whole. Yeah. Um, by cutting them, it would just make it stronger, and we oh, don't yeah. want to. It's a quart. You know who could, who would, I think, might use this, and I think it'd be great, is uh, behind the garage barbecue, Craig. He does all kinds of neat uh, recipes. Like uh, sauces and all that, and this would be a perfect one for him to use. So, are you challenging Craig to no, make some? No, I'm just telling him. You should say yes. Craig, <laughs> I think you should use these, Craig. <laughs> and it's the same time, guys. 30 days, same rules. Same rules. Five yeah. days to see if it's topped. If it hasn't, top it. Oh, man, that means if this doesn't top, yeah. we're going to have to buy... Probably just as many limes Did to make the it? juice. Yeah. <laughs> I hope um, it tops. Yes, I do too. So I'm <laughs> going to pack them in. Because these are the same thing, guys. 50 cents a piece. I think that's robbery. 
It's what's robbery was the dollar we were paying in town. The amount in town was just ridiculous. A dollar a yeah. piece. See these are uh, in your recipe when you get your lime out there you can just cut the fine strips like this. Yeah. And then put it in your blender and mix all your other You know, stuff we've with eaten it. them without knowing that it was preserved or fermented. We I knew it was preserved, but I didn't realize that the lacto fermentation is what did it when we tried it years and years back. Yeah. Great in muffins and like to put a little bit on top or even in the cake icing because you chop it real fine because the rind is really soft. Oh, this is going to be, you know, I'm going to have to try it and I'm going to pay for it with those yep. peppers in there. <laughs> <laughs> so he's just got a few more. Yep. And we probably should have bought double to fit the into amount, the court. Yeah. Just looking at it now. But I think yes. we'll be okay. We'll uh, have to top it. We'll hey, to I wonder if we can use, you know, those bottles of real rum on. Um, uh, can you buy the real, you can, you can buy real lime. Yeah, you can buy the lime. Yeah, yeah. I wonder, it's supposed to be, I'll have to read the ingredients. Really good. If it's pure, I think we'll try that. If it's not? not pure, well, forget it. Well, you just I'd... top it up with lime juice, right? Now. <clears throat> exactly. Yeah, but it's got to be the pure, or we're going to have to buy the fruit and juice it ourselves. Yeah. Say something in the comments. Let us know if we can do that. Like I said, we've not. This is a new game for us, totally. And I really like where they're going. And I, be. I, I like where this is going. Yes. And like I said, oh, let me get behind the jar. There Pardon me. Oh. I'm. There we go. Is that the last? No. Nope. Two more. Two more. <laughs> okay, so this one's not quite filling up yet, but it will. It will. I'm going to put this jar in and keep it all under. Oh, you can press the dowel into the yeah. jar to squish it down just a little bit more. There you go. I mean, it's going to come back up. But see how it's covered when you do that? Yeah. That tells me probably by breakfast tomorrow. It'll be up. It'll be up. Yeah. It'll be up. Oh, 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 oh. There we look go. what we've got. There we go. And like we said, we don't have to really worry about the tops of it because it will, it will juice up more from the salt. And it's a very hostile environment for any kind of mold at all. Any bad bacteria. Any bad bacteria. It's impossible. It's yeah. actually impossible for it yeah. to survive there. Now, I might move that into a pint jar. What do you think? Smaller do you think that jar? would be better? Yeah, because we don't want air. So No, no, I think it'll come up. And I've got this here, the, the, the jar inside yeah. it. Okay, you know what? <clears throat> we'll leave it a few days. Depending okay. on the volume, we may or right, may not yeah. put it then into we'll, a pint jar. Then decide then. <laughs> like how we figure things out, guys. <laughs> this was a fun adventure. This I, is spaghetti meat. <laughs> yeah, that's why I don't use those labels. They're murder to come off. Yeah, that's why there. painter's yeah, tape right, is yeah. used. Painter's tape, remember. But that, Heidi Jo... Thank you. Heidi Thank you Joe. very much for this suggestion. Great idea, and Heidi Joe. We've got them up here. Uh, yep. The I'll date this one up. that they were made. And we've got them sitting up there. They're going to rest there for five days, watching our levels. Um, we will determine if we need to add or not add the appropriate juice for each jar. And yeah. <laughs> and there we have it. It'll be there for 30 days. Right. It'll be there It'll for be there 30, 30 days. days. Now we have it. There we go. All right. Fermented lemon, mandarin oranges, and lime. Preserved. What? Yes, preserved. What kind of concoctions can we make? It? And we will. We'll be using this in, in our, in our, well, my barbecue stuff and all, and sauces like stuff of chicken and dessert. Put some oranges in the chicken, right? Yeah. Just wash them off. Get the salt off them. Them in the chicken. Yeah, don't forget when using it, you, you really want to rinse them You have quite to rinse well. them off. And we'll be showing you this as yeah. we go along with us. So give us a thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe away. 
it's because subscribe away. <laughs> and don't forget that notification bell, which is right here. It is. Ding, 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 You're ding, getting ding, it. Ding, ding. You're I'm finally getting it. Getting it. <laughs> <laughs> ding, 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 ding. And we'll see you next video. <laughs> don't forget to share for us, guys. Yeah. Thank you. Can we do it now? Okay. Hi there. Welcome to Page Family Homestead. <laughs> God.